Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be going over the Stinger Mantis again today. So as you can see here this is the foot that I actually finished off and I showed you the photo in that last episode but I couldn't show you the video of that. But in today's video I'm going to be going over the fin which is the massive tail that comes up into the air and then I'm sort of extending out this bit changing a couple of things as you can see here. I'm changing it back to blue as when you look on the actual ship it has the blue bits connecting to the fin on either side and then you bring it up which then connects to the fin going up into the air. So before we get started on this video if you haven't already checked out the ones from beforehand which I've got on a playlist linked down below then definitely check those out it'll give you a bit more context on what I'm building and the first sort of few steps I took. And as well as that, if you haven't subscribed already, it'd mean a lot and it'd be great if you could leave a like. It doesn't take long and it really helps me out. As you can see, I am getting closer to the back end of the ship now. And I'm building a sort of archway which is going to end up connecting to the fin. You can see I'm sort of sloping them up because I don't believe you have any stairs for these blocks. So I'm just bringing it up and then right in the centre of that area there, that's where the fin is going to come out. So you can see I've raised it all the way up and then the fin's going to come out, out from inside of it all the way up into the air. And it should be about maybe a bit more than half the size of the ship. And it's going to be a little bit tricky to try and design it, so hope you guys enjoy this. It's going to be hard. Now, there's also a thing that I've been considering as well, which is making another TARDIS series. As I'm about to wrap up the Doctor Who series, and I'm definitely considering making the War Doctor's TARDIS. I have already made some and I've recorded it, but I haven't filmed and voiced over it. So if you guys definitely want to see that, then that'd be great if you could leave a comment down below saying if you want to see the War Doctor's TARDIS or if you want to see any other TARDIS like David Tennant's or 11th, 12th Doctor's, 10th's, and then tell me from there because... I'm just going to be basing it off your guys' advice and what you guys want to see. But if not, then I'll definitely be doing the War Doctor's TARDIS, as I really do like that one. Because it's sort of a mix of the originals, like the first and the earlier one Doctors, as well as the newer sort of ones, like David Tennant's. So you can see here, I've started raising the fin. And I go from trying in and out a couple of different things. And you can see that I've got the lighter grey blocks in the middle and the blue on the outer shell. But then I do sort of move them onto this layer here, as you can see, and then I put the grey on the outer level. I just sort of test it round a little bit, because in the game you can see that there's a grey level on the outer side, but it's not as big of a chunk like these ones. So what I'm going to end up doing is probably just sort of using like the iron... Uh, what are they called? The iron hinges or whatever they are, where the thing comes down on the side and possibly levers and buttons and we'll see from there. I'm also going to have to do a slope sort of pattern here. I'm not too sure on the way it looks because it's quite small and stuffed in. But I think it's the best sort of I can do and then I'll add in buttons and different things like that. As you can see here, I brought that out. So I'm just going to try a couple patterns and see what happens. So I am also using other blocks here which wouldn't normally be in the update or whatever it is but I do believe the beta has either come out or not the beta but the actual update has either come out or is coming out very soon. So if you guys haven't got that already so definitely check that out on consoles but if not then it's definitely on PC so you can still follow along there. And if you can't just sort of replace it with other blocks like the, uh, the grey concrete. And just so you guys are aware, it still says I'm on the beta up here, and that's only because I filmed this prior to when it update came out for all other devices. So don't worry about that, it's all the same. I literally just have it on the beta rather than the official update. But I've updated it all now, so everything's up to date and all good. So the next videos you should be seeing, they should be in the next update. And also, if you guys are watching this video and you have no idea what this Stinger Mantis I'm building is, then check out a couple of my videos I've made on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I have the playlist linked down below, and it's just a bit of gameplay throughout the actual game. It's just like Star Wars, it's based once the Empire had taken over, and the same sort of storyline, similar to Kanan, where the, a Jedi was left over and they were trying to officially become a Jedi and get knighted, and... The story of them and I do believe a number two is coming out so hopefully I can get this this done by then and then we can see maybe if the ship changes a little bit I'll be able to build another one and maybe I might even do a tutorial next time so I do hope you guys are enjoying that 
and yeah so definitely check out that playlist if you don't know what the ship is or if you do know anyways it'd be great if you could check out my playlist because it means a lot and it also helps me to get a lot more views comments and likes and it helps to grow my channel a lot so right now in this clip you can see it's starting to look a little bit quite bulky and quite chunky and it doesn't look too good but as you can see here I'm starting to add bits on the outside and then I'm going to start adding in levers and buttons which can add in sort of like decals or details and I'm going to use these levers to sort of close these flaps and what that's going to do is it's going to look like extra patterns maybe something which would actually stick out in the ship and you can actually see things like that on the actual ship in the game but it wouldn't exactly be like that so I'm just sort of trying to find different ways to add things on I'm going to add buttons down the side which might be just sort of dots but I'm just sort of testing out what can actually fit on the side or not and I might always come back to it in a later game as well so you can see I'm adding the levers here and I'm going to carry on doing that for the next couple of videos and it'd be great for you guys to tell me as well if you have got through this far through the video then tell me what is your favourite ship from Star Wars or any other sci-fi film or game just leave it down below and I'll definitely be sure to check that out leave a comment back and you never know, I might end up building that within one of my playlists or I could end up building that as a how-to. So definitely try that out and then I'll see what you guys leave. Now I did try using a bit of lapis and I didn't really like how it turned out at one point. And it was sort of, it was more of sort of a dirtyish blue colour. Where this one is just sort of plain blue, it doesn't have anything else mixed within it. So I do like how that has turned out. But then if the ship has gone through battle or gone through something hard then it might be a bit dirtier, uh, might be a bit messed up. So right now my ship does look like a brand new sort of clean one off the market. So you never know if I come back to this, I could change it out. However, I am liking it on this. But if you have any suggestions on me trying any other block, like any sort of maybe blue stained glass even, or this blue concrete or blue wool or any other thing like that, then definitely leave a comment down below if you prefer it like that. Now it is just coming up to a year of my channel and it isn't exactly at that point yet and I am planning to make a video on that but it's going to be the year since my first video and I'm not sure if I still have that on there, it was a Geometry Dash one and then I started making to meet the Robinsons videos after that and then Jedi, Jedi Playthrough, Jedi Academy and so I'm going to be making a video on that soon so stay tuned for that, I'll probably end up building something in Minecraft or playing a different game. So yeah. There wasn't a lot of images on the ship on the internet, so there was a couple of designs which weren't from the official company in that, but I did see there was a yellow pattern up here, so I'm just gonna add that and I'm gonna do a sort of a couple tries, see how it goes, and I do like how that looks. But I also have tried splitting it through the middle as you can see here. That's what I'm gonna do. But I'm not sure about that hundred percent, but I'll definitely come back to that. But I do like how it is better than a thick block chunk so I really like how these light grayish sort of blocks come out from here but I do then add blue blocks which are going to come out from above and I don't really like how that turned out so then I'm going to edit that and change it to a different sort of pattern so I didn't like how everything was sticking out after a while it just looked too chunky and blocky so I ended up doing different patterns and smaller thinner trap doors so I didn't actually like how the blue bit came sticking out too far and now I did start adding these turquoisey sort of, um, I'm not sure what they're called, trap doors, that's what they are. I started adding those and they're not exactly the same colour but I do believe they look a little bit better than having a massive block sticking out so I do like how that turned out. However I did want a couple blocks sticking out the back like I have down here so I'm just going to bring those out a little bit more and then that's just going to sort of add a little bit more detail and it doesn't look like a flat fin. So you can see then from there I've just added another lot above and then what I'm going to do is just add a couple of buttons and then that's just going to sort of add a little bit more detail to it and you can see I've done that all along there and I really do like how it turned out. Thank you everyone for watching this video, I have another one coming soon where I'm going to be doing the front with the front guns, so stay tuned for that. I've also got a couple new series coming soon, I've got a new series called Concept Craft, which is going to be like Hermit Craft and decidedly vanilla, but I'm going to be doing this with my mates, and we're just going to be trying to make a series like that, and it's going to be themed on a different thing each season, so stay tuned for that, that's going to be coming out very soon, I'm going to start filming that this Saturday, 
So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.